see this see this purple fire this is because this vlog can be lit and it can get more lit and it can be lit i tell you stay tuned john of jigs illustration we on fire Hey everyone, this is John from Chicken Illustration. Now, the Bashman Soccer Competition has ended, so this is my two cents on this Bashman Soccer Competition and everything about it that went wrong, in my opinion. So you're watching Chicken Illustration, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now, hit that subscribe button, so you will know when I drop another video. So let's go right into it, um, straight to the point. The winners. Now, there was a tie. How did they get a tie in a Soccer Market Competition? or in a basement soccer competition, or any competition at all, there should not be a tie. In my opinion, why could they not have a barometer on stage or some barometer where people will actually, if I'm an audience member and I'm watching you, of course, I'll be able to determine if I like your performance or not. So what they could have done to break this tie, which is so easy, for a some barometer on the stage with an actual visual of it. So when people yell, yeah, and stuff like that, you can see it register. And then they could determine who won from the crowd. Let the crowd decide who should have win then. If the judges can't do it, let the crowd decide. They were the ones watching it. It's what they like. She could have let the crowd um, decide. And they didn't do that. They just caught SK, which everyone was really pleased that he won. But when you hear King Bubba, I heard a lot of boos going on. So what's going on there? What's up with that? Was it his performance up to par? You guys let me know in the comments. Was it his performance worthy of a first place was he even worthy of a second how about a third was he even supposed to be on the event how was this performance you guys let me know in the comments now but everyone was pleased with sk called sk um he was the crowd pleaser of the night from what i've seen and from the comments i've seen um i've seen other people say that it was a piss poor event as well poorly executed and some of the performances by some of the artists was kind of upsetting to them so there's a lot of things that happen in this show that I guess a lot of people aren't pleased about. There's a lot of politics too that a lot of people might not be aware of that happens on shows as well. Like, I have a big question mark of why Stiffy was missing in general. Like, what's going on? Why is he being pushed out? Because that's literally what happened. He got completely pushed out this whole thing. Is there politics playing behind the scenes that we don't know about? Are certain artists linked to certain companies or certain promotions that are linked to this show that put people in a better advantage than others? What's going on? These are questions that I guess a lot of people would like answered as well. Now, I had an issue with the voting site. Even before the finalists got through, there was this part where you go on the website and you vote now for the favorite artists that you want to see go forward to the finals. Now, they also said that the votes will be added to what the judges score them as well. Now, if you want to be, if you're a new show, I think transparency is always a good thing. Why not, after you put the results of who went to the, or who have gone or made it to the finals, why not put how much votes they got and what you score them? Transparency always gains confidence of people who are, or who wants to attend your event. So a little transparency would have been great, which they did not do. Um, from artists that didn't make it, but actually got through as in the factor of there were so many entries of songs, only certain songs were chosen out of the batch. Now, they did not. I could be wrong, but I thought that they would have promote these guys better. As in, there's a lot of songs out there that a lot of people don't know. There's a lot of artists that people don't know. And you got to publicize people. You got to put them on radio stations. I know it takes money, but you're pushing a show and you want money. You want people interest? You gotta promote it properly. They should have put these people on radio stations for at least an hour on certain days or whatever. They could do it on TV as well. Um, promote, you know, the artists as in this is the song they're singing. Blah blah blah. Let people get to know people, so you will know exactly who you want to vote for. And it would be kind of an unbiased vote because if a man song good, he song good, regardless of if you if you is a fan of them or not. If a song song good, you will vote on this. I hope. Then there was this thing with the vote site itself. You could have hit vote now and you would think that your song, you think your vote will register. But then there was a little thing in there that I noticed that you could have clicked on the artist's name and then it will pull open, open another browser. You'll be able to see, you'll be able to tell or able to place your email address, put a comment about the song, 
or were you like the sound and then hit vote now now which was it was you were you supposed to do that or were you supposed to hit vote now which one registered your vote no one knows i don't even know i was a little bit confused about that whole scenario then there were parts where the first day you could only vote once and then like when it come close to the closing of voting you people could have voted like multiple times and it would go through but the first day it won't go through so what was up with that i don't know now there's as I, I talked before let me talk about a little bit there was this part where people a lot of politics happen in a lot of things especially in barbados if you are associated or was associated to a, a certain party in power um things will happen but for you and if you're not associated with the present party in power things won't happen for you so let's say using an example let's say me i am a dp yeah i'm a dlp man i'm not a dlp man i'm just saying <laughs> if it was me a dlp person i support dlp for all these years and i used to get all the forward i can get you know put on different shows and stuff like that um and all of a sudden blp come into power and then again push out regardless of if i have the best song in the world somehow i can't even make it into the finals and nothing so that means that politics happening so when it comes to sponsors like i've seen complaints like when people go to fats all they're hearing the certain songs over and over and over and over and they ain't hearing nothing different does that mean that the people sponsoring the event tells the person that actually um holding the event or telling the dj you know listen I don't know okay, who you play, but you better play these songs. I sponsor these events, and you my money going into your pocket. I want only these songs playing, and I don't want these songs playing. A lot of nonsense going on in Barbados, people. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. A lot of politics. Now, I, I know I went off board talking about DJs and stuff, but these are things that I recognize, too, and things I realize. Certain DJs affiliated with certain studios, also affiliated with certain sponsors, and they only put certain songs and everybody don't get the fairness in the airplay, which has caused a lot of nonsense to happen, a lot of um, biased reactions, a lot of nonsense going on behind the scenes. We There's so much things I can talk about, but I will not talk about, but there's so much things that you guys need to ask questions about and be aware of in terms of how the soccer market competition happens and people affiliated with it. Basman Soka has been around for quite a bit, I will admit. But if we don't really want to push this Basman Soka things, why not put it at a different time of the year? So Barbados would be have something going on all during the year, the calendar year. Like I know you've got reggae on the hill, there's got this reggae and dance all portion earlier in the year. Then you crop overs come along, there's another portion. Why not remove Bashman Soka from the Soka thing itself since it's dancehall and Soka mixed together and it sounds more like dancehall more than anything else. Why not put that after crop over season where there, there's going to be another thing for people to attend. Artists could continue and students could continue pushing out music in terms of just Bashman Soka, um, um, so it's just Bashman Soka music. Why not play it like in September? Hold a competition. You know, like how you're holding it now, but an unbiased one. You know what I mean? Um, so you will get more artists, which means more work for studios, more work for artists, more events to come alive. A lot more things to do in Barbados after crop over season. Because after crop over season, everything's going to fall flat on its face. So I think around Independence has got some little thing going on too, but they will have another season for something else. Now, the only reason why I say why not separate it is because I find that when it comes to Bashman Soka, I, I I can't count for all artists, but I got this feeling that Bashman Soka first came around where there's people that just like dancehall, there's people that don't appreciate Soka a lot, that favor dancehall over Soka. I mean, that's people's own thing, right? You can't tell somebody what to like and what not to like. But there's people that like dancehall far more than like Soka. And there's artists that like dancehall far more than like Soka and don't really, they don't really got give two shits about the actual genre of soca. But what they did is, maybe if I take my dancehall thing and push it in a soca way, maybe I can get recognized. I think a lot of people write soca court tale to get recognized. Because that's my opinion. Do you guys feel the same way? Put in the comment section. Do you feel that a lot of artists that think that um, Bashman Soka only put, only 
get involved because it's a way that they can promote themselves singing dance hall, but in a way they twist it to be soca and call it Bashman Soca as in dance hall and soca combination. Do you guys feel that way? Because I feel that there's people that don't really like the art form or like the genre that much, but they only get in it for because they want to be recognized. So they decided to do dance hall and put it in soca. Now it is a big thing. Why not separate it? Why not take it and put it sometime further in the year where people that want to do Bashman Soka could produce Bashman Soka sounds, write songs for Bashman Soka, where you will have another season for something else, another thing for people to go and enjoy, and there will not be no mix match or no confusion between Bashman Soka, Bashman Soka, or really should be in Soka or anything like that. That would be another good thing. So after crop over, people will got something else to enjoy. I enjoy the whole thing of Bash Me Soka celebrations. You know what I mean? You could do this. This is where you could look into to really um, solidifying Bash Me Soka. Just don't don't leave it in the crop over season. Put it after the crop over season. You know what I mean? An extended version of crop over, but still nothing to do with crop over. Still put it as in. It is soccer, but it's dance soul, so it can have its own thing by itself. I really think it's big enough that it can do it by itself. As the amount of young people that are involved and the amount of people that like it now, it could stand by itself. It doesn't necessarily need to be in crop over. It could be promoted after crop over. Where the fact that you can got events for just Bashman Soccer, you can get um, shows going on, you can do the competition again, but a better competition than how it was this year. For the fact that if you call it international Bashman Soccer competition, you should have judges coming from different islands that are familiar with different accents because they're going to be artists from different Caribbean islands um, probably entering or probably getting through the finals. Um, you should have this whole judges that aren't, that are unbiased to certain artists. Um, and if you want to get in, you, your sponsor or your marketing team cannot have any connection at all to the promoters of the event or the competition because that is leaving room for people to question, wait, did these judges get paid off before the event happened? They already know who was supposed to be winner. So, so many things. A lot of pissed people out there. A lot of people pissed about how this went down. There's a lot of people congratulating people, but there's also a lot of people that refuse to be blinded by what just happened. And suppose this was a car. I think I just said this earlier in, in what I was saying. Suppose it was a car. Would King Bubba and SK had to split the car in half to get to get the price? There should be no tie, people. No tie. There should be no judges just from Barbados only either. It is That is not international. There should be no one link to the competition itself as in promoter-wise. There should be no artist that has... People, uh, backing people as in terms of marketing or sponsors that are connected to the show because this will cause people to think that you know what this show was set up for this certain person to win already you need a revamp on this show that's just my opinion but there's a lot of things that I can talk about it's up for you the people to decide and to not be blinded by what's going on there's a lot of politics going on behind the scenes I'm realizing this now a lot of things that I'm opening up my eyes to in forms of certain artists that used to be for certain parties don't get pushed the more, they get pushed to the wayside and certain artists that for the party, party in power all of a sudden moving out the line it could be a coincidence, we don't know but it does make you think, doesn't it? Did I just make you think about all these things that I just said? Did I make you think about the things that are going on behind the scenes? Huh? Did I make you guys think because I believe there's a lot of behind the scene politics, a lot of underhand moves that are going on that puts a lot of questions in people's mind, including mine, about how things are being executed and how certain artists that are being left out and some artists that don't even deserve to be in the position that they're in end up being where they are. In terms of when I said don't deserve, I mean in terms of the way how they perform and they somehow get to where they get. You know what I mean? There's no transparency in a lot of events. There's no transparency in how, you know, you came up with these points and let people see these points. You know, people would like to see, like, the names of people and the actual points to get to get to this level. 
transparency is always acceptable. I can talk in my next vlog about the Soka Marnet thing. Because there's things that I do like that they're, they're bringing back. But there's also things that I question as in pharma. If you want to make money, you got to give people what they want. And if you don't give people the want, you cannot get the money coming in as the people who wanted to go to the show. So I can talk about that in another vlog because there's a lot of moves that NCF could have done. Um, there's things that, yeah, you want to keep your judging. Where how you judge it, you can judge it, but you should have found a way how you can get people choose at least or put a, pink, a pick of who they wanted to go to the, see at the finals. That will guarantee you that you will get revenue coming in for the venue. That will guarantee you that you will get people coming to see or want to come and see the event or the competition finals. But these are things I can get into. I don't want to get into it right now. There's a lot of things going on in my mind. But I hope with this vlog that I didn't ramble too much. But I hope I did make you open your eyes a little bit. I'll put, you know, make you question certain things that were going on with this Bashman Soka thing. Because... As I see it, there's something ain't right about what happened. Something ain't right about the tie. I can say, a lot of people might not say, but I can say, SK. Now, everybody say that SK deserved to win. People that were there and a lot of things over social media, I see. That SK should have win. Without having to share. But, did they only let SK won because they wasn't expecting him to perform so well, so they had no choice but to make sure he win. Was there someone else that was set to win already, even before the competition start? Was there a lot of politics behind the scene? These are things that people want to know. Tell me your thoughts on what happened on this Bashman Soka competition, and let me know, guys. Put in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about the event. Let me know how you think about you know the idea of why not taking Bashman Soka out of the crop over season and putting it after where it can, if you want it big enough that it can promote itself and producers get more rare artists, can sing songs and write songs, they can get more events. They'll have something particular for, for the calendar year as in reggae on the hill or dance hall on the beach early up the year. Then you got crop over season, which take out another portion of months. And then Bashman Soka, where you can have events uh, created for just Bashman Soka, where artists now can push out as much music as they can and producers can push out as much um, songs as they can just for that factor that it by itself and anybody on any more songs to come. And it can keep people when Barbie's busy and people entertained as in music-wise should it have its own festival. That's what I'm trying to say. So guys, thank you for watching. This is John of Jig's Illustration. And thank you. And that was my two cents on this Bashman Soga competition. Was it corruption? Hmm. Left to be seen, guys. You're watching the illustration. First, I